So, I'm back with another operating system for the Pi, and this time it's actually pretty interesting. It might may look like just normal Ubuntu 20.04 to you, but this is actually Ubuntu 20.0 at uh, 20.10. So this is called um I forgot it's something with Gorilla. Let me check that out. Um, so I'll open up terminal and open NeoFetch so you can see what version it is. So this is still in development, so it's not, um, it's like in beta, so it's not fully optimized and stuff, and it's not that fast. So it's called Groovy Gorilla, and, and as you see on NeoFetch, it says in development, and it shows my Raspberry Pi model, and all of the, um, things I would need to know. So, one thing that, um, I was kind of bummed about is that Desktopify doesn't work with this, because Desktopify was only designed to work with Ubuntu 20.04. So I'm hoping that when this is officially released that they will release Desktopify for Ubuntu 20.10 too. That will be a huge rate because to install this all I typed was sudo um, apt install ubuntu-desktop. So that's the old way but with the old way you don't get as good performance and you get bugs like this black up here you get a bug like that. So it's a little bit annoying, but I mean it's still in development, so I can understand. So so far I've had okay performance. I mean this is just for testing. So if you guys are into testing and stuff, I would recommend this. But if you're not, you can just stay with Desktopify. So you can change it to standard or dark. I'm a fan of dark, so I'm I'm gonna ch change it to dark. And then we have all these settings here. So, let's see what cool background pictures they have to change. This one looks interesting, the gray. Yeah, it's nice. So, and then, we, we mostly have all of the apps that we did in the other one. Some icons do look a different, a little bit different. So, we have the LibreOffice apps, and then, we do have this app called Hightop. And it shows us the, it's like a task manager basically, and it shows the performance and etc. Stuff like that. And then we have the LibreOffice apps. So let me just try out the LibreOffice writer and let's see how that performs on this operating system. So it opened very, fairly quickly. quickly. Didn't get my beginning. So you can type, and it seems very use usable. So yeah, this seems nice, and it looks like it works well. I did a mistake there. There you go. So yeah, it's nice, and I can change everything, and so I don't want to save it. And then we got our files app. I like the way the files app looks on um, Ubuntu. It's just really cool and nice, pleasant. So as you see, I have the Desktopify folder here, but I don't need it. So I'm just going to delete it because I install it thinking that I could use Desktopify with this version. But you can only get it on um, 20.04. So that was a bummer. So I'll show you now where you can download this for your Pi 4 and then flash it with Etcher or Raspberry Pi Imager or 132 Disk Imager, whatever is your preference. So the link will be in the description so you'll be able to just go and click on that link. So here's the website where you can download it from. Um, so it's Ubuntu releases. And the one I downloaded is this one. Raspberry Pi gen generic 64-bit ARM. I'm not sure what hard flow actually means. So I just installed this one and it works great. I mean, it's not amazing. It's, I wouldn't use it every day. But when it's out of development, I definitely will. 
So let's sh let's look at some YouTube performance now. Sorry, my internet is a bit slow now. Yeah. It's a problem when you have a lot of people in your house using the internet. So, here's a classic 60 FPS 4K video. So, I made it big and it went big easy. Let me just skip into there. It is, to me, it's looking a bit choppy. You, yeah, it's a bit choppy. It's not the best YouTube performance on the Pi that you're going to get. Is it watchable? Kind of. I mean, yeah, it's watchable. Um, it's you're not gonna enjoy it as much as the some other operating systems on the Pi with YouTube, but yeah, it's it's okay. Let's go to Amazon now. Okay, so I got into Amazon now, and the, I mean, the, it's, yeah, it, it's good web browsing, definitely. I mean, on the Pi, you usually do get good web browsing, just on some heavy operating system, so the web browsing is bad. But, on this one, on Ubuntu 20.10, it's like a little bit, when you um, go down, it's like skipping some pictures. I mean, it's not the best, but it's usable. So that's enough for there. And then we do have a Thunderbird mail like other other Ubuntu. So you can set up your mail from there. And we have a help. And then another thing on Ubuntu. If you click on this activities button. You can make different desktops like Windows 10. You can have different um, apps open on different desktops. And you can just click on here and switch. And then you can um, search for your apps here. And then just go out. I just click there, and so terminal. You can install all of that 64-bit apps. I think sudo app install. This is just an example. I'm gonna install Gparted. And. Yeah, one thing on this, every time it's saying generating a boot into dot image Raspberry, but it's after this, it's always giving error. So that is some bug with this operating system for the Pi. Well, which is understandable because this is in development, and that's the whole reason why it is like this. But I think they're releasing new ones every day, so you can always download a better one from their website. So why that's taking a while, I'll just show some other features. So we have here, and we have lock, power off, settings. I already showed settings actually, but yeah. So it's a very nice looking operating system. See, it, it always gives an error here, um, but the app does install. So if I go sudo gparted, I mean, I don't have to do this. I can't open it from the app thing right here, but this is just an root user. So Gparted does open as you see, and it works. So apps do install, they just give this error, but I don't know why. So this is a nice looking operating system for the Pi. 
for um I can't wait for the development on this and for desktopify to support this new version I really can't wait for that so thanks for watching this video if you have any questions please tell me down below in the comments and don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe